Like, you think it's fine. <laughs> Did it get you? Welcome back to a very special episode of Homemade versus the Internet. Why is it so special today, Robin? Today, Ivy, we are paying homage to the people that have influenced us making a treasured family recipe. What do you call so, your grandmother? Grandma. I call my Nana. So today we are actually going to make Grandma and Nana's recipes, but... But! We have to use cricket flour. Cricket flour is roasted, dried up crickets, which are pulverized into flour. My grandmother is probably rolling in her grave right now. Well, my grandmother is very much alive, but it's actually her mother's recipe too. Well, there you go. As long as somebody's rolling in their grave, we're having a good time. Well, what is your recipe first off? It's tea cakes. I'm making chocolate pound cake. It has a half pound of margarine and a half cup of shortening. And it says right here, don't use substitutes. Everything's better with blue bonnet on oh, it. Oh boy, all right, let's just get right let's in. Let's do it. So you've made this recipe a lot, a lot, a lot. So I have never made this recipe. <laughs> oh, Nana, I'm so sorry. I've never made this recipe. Okay. But I have enjoyed it throughout my lifetime, up until today. How strong do you think the cricket flour is gonna come through? We're getting full on fish food here. Are you subbing the whole amount of cricket flour? Yeah, what is your, what's your thing? It calls for three and a half cups of all purpose flour. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do one cup of cricket flour. Mine calls for three cups of all purpose. I'm doing two and one of the cricket flour. Not because I'm trying to cheat it. Cricket flour just doesn't have like the glutinous properties to actually hold it together. I want the cake to actually be a cake. So I'm actually gonna use bread flour, since there's no gluten in this and this has extra gluten, just to lend the cake structure. But I really don't know what's gonna happen. It's pretty rank. Ooh. It tastes like dead bugs. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Isn't your daughter named after your grandmother? My daughter is named after her four great grandmothers. I was not named after my grandmother, but all the girls in our family share the same middle name. Her mother was a middle name Elizabeth. She's a middle name Elizabeth. My mom, me, my daughter in the f in 25 years. You remember that one time I told you that I watched Gunsmoke? Are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> Gunsmoke? Is this who you watched Gunsmoke with? Yeah, we would make the tea cakes and while they were baking, we would get in a really good episode of Gunsmoke. Okay, so we've got our dry ingredients together. We're gonna cream the margarine, the shortening, and the sugar. You know, I've cooked professionally for- More years than I am alive. Maybe. Mm, yeah, this is my 20. Third year. I'm so, 25. Yeah, so close. I believe this is the first time I've ever opened margarine in my life. I have two different instructions. One of them says pinch dough about the size of a quarter, place on pan approximately half inch apart. But then off to the side, I also have roll into a ball about a gumball size, place one inch apart, or roll dough and cut with cutter. You know these old timey recipes, they mm -hmm. always had the or do this or Bake in a hot oven. So how much sugar? Whoa, my God. Two cups of sugar? Three. What? I don't even know if this is physically possible. This smells so bad. I'm wondering since mine has cocoa powder if it won't actually be as obnoxiously different. Now this would be a good episode for users to share their experiences with because there are, I'm sure, people out there that have more experience than both of us put together. You want to give it a go? Sure. Don't mind. Woo! It's not that bad. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's yeah. The, it's the aftertaste. It gets a little buggy at the end. You could definitely make your own cricket flour. Just in case you were wanting to recreate these recipes at home, mm -hmm. go to your local cricket store, aka live bait, let those things dry out, and then buzz them up. Uh, all right, I'm ready. Me too. How long do yours cook for? Let's see here, Nana. She wrote on a note on here. Love the many times we made these together, Georgia girl. Wow. Oh, how sweet. Um, this might be the first time I cry on this show. This is the first time I made them without her. Is it? Uh-huh. I hope I made her proud. Do you need help? Sure, you wanna butter and flour that pan right there? Let's cricket flour one of them. 
Oh, for sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Just get that nice exterior coating of cricket flour. Ooh. It's a nice coating of the cricket flour. Yeah, it is. This actually, and I say this knowing that the world is a very diverse and large place, this might be the first time anybody has buttered and floured a pan with cricket flour anywhere in the entire universe. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop these in the oven. Me too. And like TV magic, we'll see you in a bit. All right, Robin, how's your cricket cake? Well, I'm about to unmold them. How's this is the one that I did the pan with regular flour. Is that really necessary? Well, that didn't work out so well. Oh, that one did well. Ooh, that's the cricket flour one? Mm-hmm. Well, let's just ice this one. I uh... underestimated the amount of icing that you needed. No. Look at the butt end. What if that was supposed to ice the two cakes that you had? All right. I'm done. Towards the camera, Robin. Towards the camera. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Moment of truth. Hmm. Oh, God. I get the cricket immediately. Do you? I don't get it that much. Oh, yeah. That's really bad. Okay, well, here. Wash hold it on. down. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. Oh, that's awful. I like the sandy texture more in the cookie than I do in the cake. It makes sense in a cookie. I yeah, don't I mean, hate, I'd eat no, this. I mean, I think nobody I would, would guess know. there's crickets. They'd be like, mmm, is this whole wheat or is this mm -hmm. gluten free? Those are delicious. So, I know. I mean, yeah, I would say yours win. Based off of taste. Based off of taste. Yeah, obviously, I would eat that before I ate that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I wouldn't say that yours is a total fail. I would say that. I mean, it doesn't taste good. Great job. <laughs> Woo, Nana! Nana, Georgia girl, made you proud today. Thank you so much for helping me pull out a W with these cricket flour cookies. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like. Subscribe. Comment. And share. We'll see you next time on Homemade versus the Internet. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.